got good news and bad news, girls. The good news is your dates are here. What's the bad news? They're dead. What's going on, my horror friends? This is Tommy Knocker, the Horror Guy, coming at you. And today, I'm finally going to talk about one of my favorite horror movies of all time. Yeah, I've always loved this movie ever since I was a kid. But the last couple years, this movie has really risen to my top 10. This is in my top 10 horror movies. One of these days, guys, I will do my top 10 horror movies. But that's really difficult for me to do. I mean, it really is. That's That's a daunting task. And I'm not ready to take that on just yet. But this, I know for a fact, this is in my top 10. And that is the 1986 horror cult classic, Night of the Creeps. Absolutely. Directed by Fred Decker, who also directed another one of my favorite movies of all time, The Monster Squad. He was actually working on The Monster Squad, uh, him and Shane Black together, when, they were, when he was filming this. And there's even a scene when JC, um, the friend that's in the, you know, he's on crutches, he is in the bathroom stall, and on the stall, it written is the Monster Squad rules. So that's cool. Um, so I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna break down the reasons why I love Night of the Creeps. Um, it's a very popular movie. It's gained a cult following over the last few years or so. But there's one little minor nitpick here, and this is minor. I just wish they would have. And I'm glad that it wasn't a sequel. I never wanted a sequel, and a lot of people say. There's a fan theory or just kind of a rumor that Slither, you know, that movie Slither is like the unofficial sequel to Night of the Creeps or it's canon. I don't really consider it. I love Slither. I'll do a review on that someday very soon, but I never considered it a sequel or canon to it. It's just a separate movie. The, a lot of horror movies are similar. You know, this plot is not that unique, um, but I think it's the best one of them, the one that, you know, that, that style. But so my minor nitpick, guys, is... um. The alien in the beginning of the movie, I was very intrigued by this guy. I wanted to know more about him and his species and the alien and what, what their story is. And we don't get it. And um, that's fine. We don't really need to. I just, I thought he looked cool. Uh, he's even on the DVD, like in the back of the DVD right here. See? Um, I mean, that's nothing new. You know, DVDs, you know, Blu-rays, they, they'll sometimes put a picture and, and then you get to the movie and it's like it's... The, the character or whatever it is, it, it, they're in the movie for like 10 seconds. And you're like, what the fuck? Why is he on the DVD? That kind of thing. But I don't care. I mean, look at him. He's got a fucking badass gun. Uh, he's, you know, he's, I was intrigued. I wanted a little bit, I wanted to know more about this guy. He's, he's fucking adorable. You know what I mean? But we don't get that and that's fine. So I'm just going to break down a few reasons why I love this movie. I can watch it over and over again and find new things. I never get sick of it. It's a fun ride. I've always thought this was a really, really fun ride. And uh, even my cousins back in the day where they were younger than me were all watching this. And then afterwards, we were playing this outside. Don't ask me. I don't remember how we were playing it, but we were. Back when kids had imaginations and played outside, those were the days. So here's one of the reasons why I love Night of the Creeps. And um, I, in the beginning of the movie, it's that black and white, 1959, you know what I mean? So I love the 50s black and white, like the old horror sci-fi theme. I love that. Love that shit. And this is a movie that definitely pays respect to those kind of movies. Um, you could change your TV settings really easy for this. I just wish there'd be like a special feature or a version that comes with the DVD or Blu-ray eventually where it's black and white. All the whole movie's black and white. This is a definitely a movie that should be played in black and white sometimes. I think it's definitely that kind of style. Not just the beginning of the movie, which takes place in 1959. Um, yeah, this is definitely one of those type of movies. 
Um, another reason why I love Night of the Creeps is the man, the myth, the legend, Tom Atkins, Detective Cameron. He makes this movie. The, the cast is solid all the way through, okay? You know, but maybe I'm being a little hard on them. Like, if it wasn't Tom Atkins in this, I don't know where it would go. But you, the, the detective uh, role, uh, Tom Atkins played perfectly to a T. He's over-the-top kind of detective. It's almost like those old, you know, those old black-and-white detective movies. I'm surprised he didn't have his own dialogue where, he can, you know, he can hear his inner monologue, you know, that kind of thing. Um, he's a drinker. Uh, he lost the woman that he loved back, you know, back in 1959 in that beginning uh, opening scene. Um, he's just over the top with his sayings. All through the movie, he's saying, thrill me. And, you know, whenever he enters a room or sometimes when he answers the phone and they're like, Detective Cameron, he's like, no, I'll bullwinkle the moose. You know, it's just that perfect Tom Atkins. He's a prick, but he's a lovable prick. That, I mean, that's that's just how it is. Yeah, but the, like I said, guys, the cast itself is just solid. Good acting. Um, the main guy, Chris, and his friend, JC, I really love their friendship. I'll get into that in a minute. Uh, you know, the girl that he's trying to get, uh, that's really out of his... He doesn't stand a chance, but he gets her in the end. Cynthia. And even the Bradster. You gotta have the dick. You gotta have the bully in these kind of movies. It's the 80s. He is Johnny Lawrence, guys. Look at him. He is the Johnny Lawrence of this movie. And yeah. And he gets it in the end, trust me. But I, I love all the characters. Everyone played their role perfectly in this. Um, Another reason why I love, and I just kind of talk, talked about it, is uh, the friendship between the main guy, Chris, and JC. I know it sounds corny, but I really like their friendship in this movie. I think it's underrated. It's one of those uh, horror movie friendships that never gets talked about. You know, you, I don't know. I just, I find it very underrated. And there's a reason why it's because of this scene right here. This scene is heartbreaking. Uh, it's heart wrenching because I think it's because JC, um, the director never explains. He didn't want to. He never explains why JC is in, is on crutches. And he sound, it looks like he's been born with some kind of, you know, uh, ailment, condition, you know, like polio or something. We don't know. It could be a lot of things. Uh, but the director didn't want to touch on that. They just, you know, they're friends. He's, you know, he's got this condition. That's it. We don't need to know any further. So I think that kind of what played into it. But at this scene here, JC gets the, the slug in him. And he knows he's going to die. He knows he's going to die. And he's got a last few minutes before the slug comes out of him and he dies. And he leaves Chris a message on their answer machine in their dorm room. Heart-wrenching. Check it out. Chris. There's one inside me. It's gone into my mouth. I don't know. That scene, that's like one of my favorite scenes in the whole movie. It, it really is. Oh, man, it's rough. But yeah, I really... Uh, solid acting all the way through. Very deep scene. And you know, it was a beautiful scene for this kind of movie. This gets... You know, when you Google search Night of the Creeps, and when people talk about it, I guess, they consider this a horror comedy. And I, there's, there's definitely comedic em elements to this. I, I don't I don't myself consider this a horror comedy. Uh, not really. I mean, th yeah, there are some comedic scenes in it, but there's almost in a lot of horror movies, there's comedic scenes. It's lighthearted. But that's another reason why I love this movie, guys, is I think it has a perfect balance of horror, sci-fi, and comedy. Um, I don't consider this a horror comedy per se, but it does have that perfect balance to me. But that's just me. Um... And throughout the movie, there's um, uh, the, there's a lot of director nods to this. I'm going to go over every, every single one, but uh, there's definitely a lot of Easter eggs to directors. Uh, JC, his initial stand for John Carpenter. Detective Cameron, Cameron's named after James Cameron. Uh, the main girl, Cynthia, her last name in this is Cronenberg, right? So I like that little nod. Um, and the last reason why I love Night of the Creeps is I love movies that has an unlikely hero. And Chris is the unlikely hero. 
yeah, him and Cynthia together, they both kick ass at the end. But, you know, Chris is the kind of the geeky guy. You know, this is nothing new for him. This is not a new plot. You know, the geeky guy, the unlikely hero saves a day, gets the girl. That's nothing new. We've seen it, but I still love it. I love it in horror movies because sometimes in horror movies, the final guy is usually the, it's this built, broad guy. And he's, you know, he's, he saves a day. And he's a honk or whatever. And he's, you know, he's badass. But, you know, and then you see Chris... And then he's, you know, he's, and he saves the day. Detective Cameron, man, that's another reason why I love Detective Cameron. Kills himself in the end. You know, he sacrifices himself to kill the alien slugs. Oh, but yeah, Chris, the unlikely hero, is one of the reasons why I love Night of the Creeps. So yeah, guys, those are my main reasons why I love this movie. I can watch it over and over again. I just, you know what? I might watch it tonight. I just might watch it again tonight because you can always pick up in little things. And this, uh, this is the director's cut and it's got a lot of cool special features. I check it out. I, I want screen factory, right? Guys have put this out. I got to get the screen factory. I'm pretty sure they have. I got to get that. There is a uh, documentary on this and I, uh, recommend it. And if you haven't seen this for some reason, if you, if it just kind of slipped by you, do yourself a favor and watch night of the creeps. Trust me on this one. All right, guys, so that's those are the reasons why I love, I love Night of the Creeps. I'm Tommy Knocker, the Horror Guy. Please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Got more videos coming soon. All right, have a good weekend, and happy Veterans Day to our veterans out there.